There's a cheap upgrade for small block Chevy heads. This is a 1988 uh, LM1 350 head, also known as the L98 cast iron head. Uh, cast iron version of the Corvette head that year. It's not bad. I got done porting it earlier. I just want to show you guys how to uh, avoid the machine shop. A lot of times you want to run a high lift cam, especially a roller cam, you have to have the valve guide bosses machine down. There's a cheap alternative. This is a standard exhaust rotator. And the clearance is just absolutely dismal. Comp cam 787-16 keepers. These are for their the beehive springs. LS6 yellow spring, standard small block Chevy spring, 150 some thousand miles, all beat to hell. I got these free from my buddy Dan. I was actually going to put them in my LS motor. You don't need to run LS6 springs for this upgrade. You can run standard LS1 springs. <clears throat> you could buy those dime a dozen on eBay. People are, people are more than likely just throwing them out. Uh, even a stock LS1 spring is a huge upgrade over the Chevy spring. But using these springs in conjunction with the 78716 keepers, which is this keeper right here, versus your stock keeper, nets you a lot more. You allowed to, the heads will be able to handle more lift. Here, I'll show you. Let me turn on my old, my good old digital calipers. Right now, I'm going to try to do this carefully. I'm measuring the distance, if you see that, between the bottom, the bottom of the keeper, or the valve retainer, I'm sorry, not keeper, yeah. whatever, and uh, the new valve seal. These are on the intake side. I'm coming up with 0.455. That's fine and dandy if you're going to run a, a mild hydraulic flat tappet. 459. So you figure 0.45. 45 is all you get out of it. Now let me show you this. The beautiful comp spring retainers. Same thing. I'm trying to stay out of the light here. I don't have very good lighting. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Measure between the retainer and the new seal. Make sure the new seal is seated. Look at that. 0.535. You can run a healthy roller cam with this motor with only a $50 modification. Like I said, I got these LS springs for free from my good friend Dan. I was going to install them in my 5.3, but this project came up. I mean, these springs fit nice. I mean, I have another video showing what I was doing. But they fit nicely in the spring pockets. You know. Let's see if I can do this without losing all my shit. Trying to keep things organized. It's always a chore. I got these through Advance Auto Parts, around 50 bucks, a special order through count. Fit like a glove. Oh, and a question I had, but I also answered it myself, these valve locks. I don't know if they're 7 or 10 degree, whatever what was factory that year. They fit them. They fit the springs perfectly. I'm not going to, I'll just drop it and I'll lose it if I did that. But I wanted to show, the, show you guys the importance of that. Yeah, the factory, factory keepers, retainers rather. Here's a non-rotating one. That's for the intake side. Trying to balance everything with one hand is an absolute chore. I mean, just the thickness alone. 
These are half inch thick. Versus. Oh, I'm fun. I'm trying to balance things, so forgive me. Why am I saying that? It feels only exactly the finest at the moment. Look at that. So much thinner. That's all it is, fellas. When you go to a typical machine shop, I don't know, 100, 200 bucks is what they charge you to machine these down. And all you got to do is get a set of LS6 or LS1 springs, of which get people just basically throw out. You know, because everyone upgrades their springs with their big cams. Cop retainers, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Any questions, hit me up. Have a good night.